popping. All in my phone, I got options. And I don't wanna tell you to drop it. But I don't wanna play. Alright, guys, welcome back to my channel where you get your dose of So today, we are going to two apartment tours. I was supposed to go to one yesterday, but I was just not feeling it. Life be life, and y'all. Um, so I washed my hair. And I put this bad boy back on. Um, if you haven't seen my Nadula unboxing, you need to go watch that because that one came out already um, right before this. So today we are going to two apartments and I will be bringing you guys along. I will be including the prices, um, anything that I can possibly record, I will record. Uh, that's where we're at with it so let's go all right guys so i'm here at lumeo lumeo um yeah so i already got a red flag but let's walk in Oh, it's it's cute. So we have a spa house. Mm-hmm. All the things appliances are also accessible to you 24-7. Okay. So when you move in, you do get a cute phone. Okay. So even if we're closed, you'll still have access to all of this down here. Awesome. Uh, also, the appliances, there's a microwave over there. Um, you can use all that, too. Like okay. Mm -hmm. Now, they're having a party. Right. They have a party room. Do they have to rent this area out? Yeah. Is, but they don't have to rent this. So this is normally, normally this is our office. Space. Okay, the business this area. Is the computer. It's hooked up to the printer. We also have here. We also have here um, our meeting room. Okay. So if you work from home or you would like to make a meeting, mm -hmm. there's TVs right here. Okay. And you have to go to privacy, which is really cool. Yeah. Do you have to request that or no? Okay. There's only one one room to request is the party room. Yeah. Everything else is 24 hours um, available. The the bathroom. bathroom. Yeah. Oh, the gym. Fully equipped gym. Hello. It's really nice. So we have the fully equipped gym with the rolling machine with the little TV. Yeah. 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 And we have the cycling, cycling area yeah. with the bar to stretch and everything. Mm -hmm. TVs. Okay. And um, and there's also a door here in case oh, you want to close it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's a here. You oh, your waters and, and stuff. Yes. And the summer is cool because you work out, you can jump in the pool. Yeah. Right. This is the party room. Okay. Oh, okay. So the party room is fits 20 people comfortably, but as you can see, you can um, spill over. Yeah, so. spill over so you can just enjoy the game room and mm -hmm. everything like that. Um, and there are seats for food so they can put up their Yeah, there's appliances in here and out there. Yeah. Okay. So this is the hundred dollar party room. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is the hundred deposit. You okay. get the deposit back when you finish the party. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, it closed on November the 1st, the actual 
Yeah, cool oh, we just closed them. Yeah, it's still yeah. cool, but all the rest of the area with the barbecue, it's still open. It's still open year round. Okay. Until 10 p.m. Okay. Okay. Is this the only parking lot, or is it like all the way around the buildings? It's around the buildings. Okay. But, um, there is extra parking on the gravel back there. Okay. For, like, for your guests who don't have the parking, the parking pass. Right. They can park in the back. Okay, how many parking passes do you get? One? Okay. Okay. Awesome. Do you have any pets? No. Just me. <laughs> Like when I visited here, the when I but when I was moving to Charlotte, I think I came here when the building was brand new. Yeah, we're two years old. Yeah. This is our home. Oh, snacks. <laughs> you can, you can, when you finish, you can take some yeah. snacks if you like. Awesome. So these are new our new appliances. Yeah, it looks brand new. And the stove is so easy to clean. Mm -hmm. So and it's a full-size microwave. It's not tiny. Which is nice. Uh -huh. It is nice. It's nice. It has plenty of cabinet space and drawers. Yes. It has that long pantry on the corner. Which is needed. Which is nice. Yeah. And then it has the sunken sink, which is nice for cooking and preparing your stuff. Yeah, I like that it's in, in the um the island. Right? Is and plus, this is, is a one-bedroom. If you don't want to put in a dining room and just leave your, your living room, yeah. you can set up bar stools and have people just eat around the island. Yes. So uh, what is the square footage on this? What, 7-something? Seven 747? Or 8? No, no, it's not quite 8. Okay. But, um, it's, seven, it's close to 756. I have to check. Okay. I have to check when we go downstairs. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And it can fit a, a king? It could if you, it depends how much furniture you want. In yeah, room. I have a queen, but it just looks big. If you just want one nightstand, nice it'll fit a queen. Yeah. That lamp is cute. They're cute. I gotta find out where they got their things. Yeah. I really like it. Because if they got it from the at home store. At home, you sure? Uh, no, I'm saying if they did, that's a good place. That's what they call the store at home? Yeah, there's a um store called at home store. This bathroom is huge. Yeah, and look, it has the two sinks. Yes, it's nice. And plus, it has all this cabinet and, and big, big uh, sunken drawers. Right, which is needed. Yeah. I think it's um, like when you don't have a tub, you get a little bit more space mm -hmm. in your bathroom. Mm -hmm. And the walk in closet. This, is huge. Yes, this closet is big. Like, it's way bigger than what I have now. Because my washing machine and dryer is in my closet, so that takes up space, too. And there's doors. There's normally doors here, but they've been taken out because of the tour. Okay. But they will be there in the right. apartment, so you won't have to look at your bathroom all day. You okay. To, yeah. It's very big. It's one of the biggest closets I've seen. They got towels, nice deep drawers. Which is really cool. For the knickknacks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could even put a table down there. Right there, yeah. Another table with drawers that open, mm -hmm. more storage. And we have included Oh, the washing machine and dryer? Yeah, the washer and the dryer are included. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And then is that H? Yeah, that's HVAC. Yeah. 
over yeah, that's, there. That's just for the, for the, the water um, heater. Yeah, for the water heater. So maybe this would have the key to that. And you can you can check outside the balcony. Yes. This is a nice balcony. Oh wait, it's a wraparound. This is nice. Okay, so this is the red flag I was talking about, y'all. So they're over here talking about parking passes. But as you can see in the previous video, they had like a parking lot, but it was really small. So I know it doesn't contain everybody's cars. They had a baby shower going on. So I'm assuming that's where all of these cars are coming from because she said visitors park out here. But I'm not about to park all the way back here if I live all the way down here. So I don't know. All right, guys. A bee just flew in my car. A bee. A bee flew in my car. I don't do bees. But first off, let me tell y'all, they just gave me alcohol. They gave me a seltzer. She said, I just tried one of these. Um, It tastes really good. She's like, and it's like, it's like 4% alcohol. And I was just like, what? I need to say, sis was trying to be up in this video the whole time, if y'all could tell. But it was a baby shower going on in there. So it wasn't like I could really like, pan across the room that much like i didn't really want to get those people in my video um they showed me the one bedroom which i do not have the person for let me look on my phone oh you are my phone um let me look let me tell y'all i literally sat here and recorded the whole spiel and it did not record all right, so we're at Lumeo, and I told y'all about the red flag of parking um, and how I didn't agree with the whole, I understand we got visitor parking, which is out here on the street on the sides of the building, um, but they also have parking back there in the gravel, like it's not paved, pa like it's not a pavement. Um, I will not be parking that far away from my building. Absolutely not. This, this is not for me. I understand we're like in a university area, but... um the parking situation here there is like four buildings on this side and one building on that side they have a parking lot in the middle um the parking lot is not that big so you get one parking pass per car um the apartment itself i saw the one that was a one bedroom one bath very spacious 747 square feet going base pay as I said base pay base rent is 1468 which is not bad for this area it is steep in price for those that are not from charlotte um but we're in north charlotte so the closer you get to the city center the higher it will be so this is kind of like a better price than you, what you would see in the middle of charlotte in uptown um and then you get a lot of space for it so I really like the apartment. It's just not for me because I just don't like the whole parking situation. Um, I also feel like I just didn't get that vibe that it was for me. I also broke down the amenities and what was going coming into it. Um, your your rent. So the amenity fee is twenty dollars, and that was the pool area, the the game area that we saw. They had a baby shower going on so and that's probably why another reason why it's like a whole bunch of cars out here in the visitor area but um the amenities is twenty dollars um they have the trash fee is three the valet trash for them to come pick it up for you is twenty nine dollars if you have a pet the deposit is three hundred and fifty dollars 
and then the rent for the pet per month is $35. So you have to take that into configurations when you're a pet owner. I am not, so I'm just telling you girls or guys that um that would like to know that information. The admin fee is 250 and the application fee is 75. So you have the application and then the admin fee actually takes that actual um apartment off the um off the the block pretty much so overall i feel like it was a nice apartment um i would give it a four out of five <coughs> bless me excuse me um a four out of five 3.8 out of five let's get into the next one because i'm about to be running late close for the year uh, we close the, literally this week. oh that's what everybody yeah. is saying too yeah. it used to be labor day but now it's november yeah we had we, we uh we were we didn't know what we we're gonna do if we we're gonna leave it open so people could still use the grill okay but we decided to just close it because you know, just to be safe. let's hassle if someone wants to use it i guess they'll request it then we can just open the gate for them yeah when it comes to the gym, it is 24 7. Awesome. Is that, is, oh, that's in there too? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Is this the washing machine and dryer? The washer and uh, it's coming in. Oh, okay. Pantry. All right. Okay. Is it like this for every one, every floor? Okay. Doesn't matter if they're on the first floor or the top floor. That's good. It's like a dining room area type situation. Very big. Awesome. Thank you. It's a nice size. And then you have the towel closet. This is where you will find your and Okay, that makes sense. How old um, is the apartment complex? If I'm not mistaken, they were finished being built in 2014. Okay. Because it looks it. new, but it's not like new. new. This, this is, is big. And this is the, is oh. the biggest <laughs> plant that we have. This is big. I like how like it comes straight into like the middle of the like the middle of the wall, I guess. It's a nice closet too. Definitely walk in type of girl. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Cause they're like right beside each other, which is good. This is very spacious. So this is the one with the smaller kitchen or the yeah. other one? Okay. Awesome. Yeah, one. Okay. Thank you. Are the stairs on the side? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, it's way bigger. And then over there you will have to go to Okay, it's like a different shape, but it's this is nice. And the space is almost the same. It's okay. 
Is the um the balcony here is smaller, right? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Okay, I see that. I see that. Is that for every floor too? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Oh, here the washing machine and dryer in this one in here. That's cool. Closet. But they kind of look similar. I think it's a little bit, just a little bit. Smaller. Yeah. And they have a smaller. Um... That's pretty cool. Awesome. This is big. I like this. The other one had a, the the bedroom was slightly like I don't know if it was just the shape or is it, was the other one a little bit bigger? Just a little bit. Yeah. I think it's the same width, but I think. Oh, okay. Yep. So this one, the good thing about this one, I mean, you have all of the same air in the space and you have a regular kitchen. Okay, so my tour was rushed. I don't know if it's because of the time of the day or because other people that have applied and paid their deposit and stuff have, um, they showed up, like they walked in the door right before me. And I was just like, uh, uh, like, I have an appointment, you know? Like, a whole appointment. And okay, so they showed me the two renovated uh, one bedrooms. We're at the, the Maxwell, if I haven't said it. The Maxwell at Highland Creek. Um, my rating would be like a 3.5. I, I forgot I drove through here last week when I went to Avalon at Highland Creek. And I was just like, uh-uh, this, this, this don't look right. This It's not giving the vibe. So they're renovated. Most of these places, most of these are renovated. He only showed me the A4 and the A5 versions of the one bedroom. Very spacious, 820 square feet, 821 square feet. Um, I like both of them. It's just the vibe I got. It's just like when it when somebody's rushing, it gives me you don't want my business. So, let's get into it. Um, the A, you know, the A7 is what I wanted to see. Because they had a built-in um, apartment, I mean, office. Anywho, this is the Maxwell. He's walking them to the same place. I'm so weak. Sorry, y'all. So it the base rent was fifteen fifteen, I believe. Um application fee is fifty here. Administrative fee is two hundred. Um, depending on your credit, you might have to pay an extra two fifty. Oh no! But depending on your credit, it might be two fifty instead of the two hundred for the administrative fee. Um, if you have a pet, it's three fifty for the deposit, and they do have breed restrictions. And then the amenity fees here are forty five dollars. Um, monthly fees that are included with your rent, 
pest control is five dollars which that can vary between five and seven um from what i've seen valet trash 25 dollars pet rent is 25 dollars per pet um and then property um in protection insurance so i have my own insurance i'm not going through the um the apartment building what i've learned is what they do is um what they do is they only give you liability so like if something happens yeah they protect you but you don't get nothing else out of that so yeah so you can rent so they have carports out here which i'm gonna sh i'm gonna insert that they have carports they have storage units and they have a detached garage so if you want a carport parking spot like it's up under the little spots or whatever that's $35 if you want a storage unit that's $75 and if you want a garage it's $150 so I've been seeing garages range between $100 and $200 um yeah so and I really do want a garage but I want my garage attached to my house like a townhouse I'm hoping it's beating out in here still. It's not because it was a little volatile. But yeah, I'm giving it a 3.5. Nah, I'm going to give it a 3. Because I, oh, I see somebody eviction notice. Yeah, no. It's giving no. I didn't get a good vibe. Nope. I walked in there. It's I Mary is so weird. Me. I don't talk about me. Mary is so weird. She knows. Okay. She knows. Like, as soon as I walk in, I'm assessing the the area. I'm assessing it. My ears, my eyes, everything. And if the vibe, the energy is not where I need it to be, it's not gonna work. So the people that I was talking about earlier that walked in right before me that wanted to go on a tour but I had an appointment. They had already paid and they got accepted to be people to live here, right? Residents. Why, um, story time. Why they were like, he was like, okay, well, I want to see it. I'm not about to rent nothing. This is a word to the wise. Don't get anything if you don't see it first. They done paid their money and stuff already. I'll be damned if I if you show me if you um if I pay a deposit for something I don't even know what it looks like. He was like, "Well, yeah, I want to see a three bedroom so we can see like how it's gonna look." You don't know what you already buying, babe. This ain't clothes. This is somewhere you gonna live, and these things are not refundable. So. So while the guy is asking for like to go on a tour, he was like, "Well, I gotta take care of um Miss Mary first. She she has an appointment. Yada yada yada." He rushed through mine. He's still in there talking to them, but he was like, "I can show y'all um unless y'all want to wait. I can show y'all on Monday when I get back from court. <laughs> when I get back from court from dealing with one of the other residents that used to live here." That's not right, y'all. You telling me y'all got some nonsense going on? Nah. Mm -mm. Nope. I don't want no parts. They look beautiful on the outside. They're renovated on the inside. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. Um, Not for me. I give it a three out of five. So if you ever want to come see um the Maxwell at... Highland Creek, I do recommend. They're very pretty, but it's just not for me. Okay, it's not for me, but I do think like they look very, very nice. They do like the bedrooms are big, the kitchens are decent size, especially for a single, um, how single person household. The living rooms 
large and in charge you can put whatever furniture in it you can load that place up with furniture literally because it's very big um yeah i just i find it hilarious that he's giving them all of this time and then i actually had an appointment and i got five minutes like literally i didn't even go back in there at the end he didn't give he didn't give me nothing else he was like well do you have any more questions i was like um no i don't think so he was like okay well thank you for coming we'll email you da, da, da. i'm just like literally five i'm gonna say no longer than 10 minutes what time is it i ain't got a watch but yeah no no longer than 10 minutes it was a fly on me. Ew. Okay, bye, y'all.